Hedro Diaz in the white gi. You see him coming out. Thiago George in the blue. Now, Thiago George, I think this year has been a breakout year for Thiago George. Mm -hmm. He is, um, as a light featherweight competitor from the Cicero Costa team, he's maybe existed in the shadow of the very famous mm -hmm. Meow Brothers, you know, as many mm -hmm. of the, the lightweight fighters do. But it's important to state that the the quality of the of the, the how deep the ranks are in the light featherweights and the featherweights from the Cicero Costa team they've abs they've got a, a, an absolute team of killers two yeah. points on the board there for Pedro Diaz coming up from the double guard pole but they've got an absolute team of killers and yesterday we saw I think no less than four of the brown belts promoted to black belts wow yeah we have Talison Suarez. We have um, Jonas Andrade, we have Jefferson Guarezzi, uh, Italo Muro, who's a middleweight, uh, wow. a lot of Milson, Wilson Moreira as well, who competes in the upper weight divisions. So a lot of new black belts coming through from the Cicero team. But Thiago George, been a black belt for a few years. Uh, this year has been a, a breakout year for him. He, uh, he's actually made it through into the, into the finals of, uh, of the majority of the competitions this year sharing many of the finals with, with his teammate, Joao Miao, closing mm -hmm. out Europeans, uh, closing out Pans, um, made it into the final of Brazilian Nationals, I believe lost, but a very successful year, no doubt, at the high levels. But man, Pedro one. Diaz is a, a lesser known competitor as well. Been a black belt for approximately two to three years, I believe. He's always floating around in contention, you know, kind of right there, wow. nipping away at the podium. <laughs> But we haven't seen Pedro Diaz really make his mark on the competition scene yet. And interesting to see that the scoreboard has been adjusted from that double guard pull. It wasn't two points coming up from the double guard pull. It was an advantage. That's the way it should have been. And the referees have adjusted that score. So, Right now he has a, a nice left-handed grip. On, that's a little bit low on the ankle unless you're going to cut back to his right. Uh, but it, it does, it is hard to break. You see Thiago trying to break that ankle grip and th those grips are much harder to break than the grip on the knee because it's just, it's just a longer way down when you, you pull and kick. It just doesn't quite have the same effect when you have the grip on the knee. However, it doesn't have the same pressure either for Diaz, but it's not a bad grip to have to, to maintain this position for quite some time, so. Let's see if he sits on the ankle, because that's a it's a good grip to bring both knees down and and staple the shin closed. Now that lasso hook, yeah, of course, uh, impeding the progress of Diaz on top, but Diaz keeping his hips far back away, now posturing up. I was gonna say that he may be doing so to uh, to try and, and shut down any opportunity for Hiago to, to go for the Dela Heaver and potentially work to tangle up those legs. Do you think that's maybe yeah. his strategy in this yeah. position? Yeah, I think so. And he, he's just, a, he's basically completely switched sides now. He's got a belt grip to counter the lasso and he's trying to get on that ankle to stuff that leg down. But you see how Hiago, a good shot of him breaking the grip off on that, on his left hand side. And working into Daily Hiva and nearly off balancing Diaz. So got a good lasso on the right side. Let's see if he puts it under the leg if that posts the leg and see if he's got a little yep, shin to shin, scoops underneath. Let's see if he goes, he's trying to get behind him now. Still has that lasso grip on the right side. And that's keeping his hips elevated, but his left leg, if he's got, no, he's let go of the lasso, so Diaz had it, wow. Well, that was a great attack there from Iago George. Diaz had to spin hard out of that position. Great, great work at bailing out of that, however. Yeah, nice recovery. He's, uh, straight back into his, uh, his star position. Yeah. 
Knee up in the middle. Iago has the guard locked. He's got to really steer those arms, but Diaz heavy on the left side for a reason, because if he's not heavy on that left side, he can get swept to. And get swept to his right here. He's got to be careful of giving both sleeves away, too. For Iago. That knee up the middle, smart move from, from Pedro Diaz. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't shut down all attacks. We've, uh, we've seen that in the past. Roger Gracie actually oh, gets a fantastic yeah, sweep from there, right? He's the, he's the man there. But Iago George seems to favor this lasso. Doing a great job now on a attack on the other arm. A common tactic is to lasso one and attack the other. Mm -hmm. Doing his best, but Pedro Diaz, we can see it on the other angle, but gluing his elbow to his knee. Nice work yeah. there in slipping in the hook. Mm -hmm. Almost hits that sweep. And that's, yep, there's an advantage. advantage. Scored, yeah. And then now doing his best to suck Diaz into that leg versus leg battle. And I think that's probably going to be his, uh, his best hope of scoring yeah. here because um, Diaz is doing such a good job of, of staying out of range yep. of, uh, of the attacks. He's doing his best to try not to commit by going forward too much to pass around. They're, they're going to say that he's still in danger. One, yeah, the footlock. Yeah. No sweep points while the footlock is still in action, right. correct? So correct. The referee did signal two, but the other two referees took it away immediately. They're in this, uh, this leg lock battle right here. But as I was saying, Hiago George, he's having success. Every time he, gets, uh, he manages to get close to the hips, he puts Diaz in danger. Yeah. Diaz doing a good job of disengaging and staying as far back and away as he possibly can, but we need, to, you know, the, a lot of a lot of uh, <laughs> grimacing on the face or expression on the face here of Diaz of I've got to get your foot, but he doesn't have the leg position. He needs to have. How a much better... of that do you think is is, is selling it for the yeah, absolute one hundred percent right there with selling it? <laughs> that was, uh, yep. <laughs> You make a face like you're doing a 500-pound deadlift yep, yep. and uh, see how hard I'm working. Yep. That, that means this is working. Yep, you know, the, yep. the ankle lock is definitely on. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of gamesmanship. Uh, yep. You know, it's interesting to see that Thiago George actually dragged him back into bounds. Yeah. So Wise. I think that, that's a sign that the ankle lock is definitely not, not a threat not because a threat. if it was, then he wouldn't be going that way, right? Nope. nope. That is right. And... Uh, Diaz is gonna, he's gotta hold on for two more minutes if he's, cause he, he can avoid, okay, now one ref says that that footlock isn't deep enough here and they're gonna give him two. Yep. So, that's a good call, I think. Two points for Thiago George and an advantage scored. Yeah. Just back to the middle here. And away we go. Just trying to make it to the back, but trying to thread this left leg. And he's got to get a little distance with his right leg to be able to get that left knee inside. You can hear them from the stands imploring Pedro Diaz to work and to get up here, try and even out the scoreboard with one minute remaining. It's 2-0 uh, to Hiago George, but as a tall order, Hiago George so good from this position. Mm, yes. And that hip control as well. Going to make it difficult for, for Diaz to get up off his, uh, off his back and try and reverse position. Yeah, now he's really planted himself there. 
that lapel grip now across the far side. Yago George using the hook to try and come around to the back. It's that second pant grip, but really from here, very difficult. Doors closed. 20, 20 seconds remaining approximately in this match. Yago George just cruising now, keeping a close eye on the scoreboard. Yeah, not, not, not for not trying here. Diaz trying to get that left leg inside, but it's just not... Thiago's just not going to let it go. He's, he's too experienced. And time runs out, and there it is. Thiago George, the winner here in this light featherweight quarterfinal match. That's going to put him into the semifinals a little later, and there's actually a good chance that he could meet his teammate, Paolo mm. Miao. Mm. Uh, in the, the semi-final, depending on how that side of the bracket mm -hmm. plays out. I believe, actually, that that's what we've got, looked, uh, got to look forward to next because yeah. Paolo Miao will be up next here on this match two against Pablo Mantovani. Two. Moving on to the next Michael round. George, your winner. Iago George Silva representing Cicero Costa.